Hi there, this is Miss Novakuski from My Home to Yours, and today's math project is an origami project, and we're going to learn how to make a butterfly. And all you need for this project is one square piece of paper. It can be any size, any color. You can decorate it with patterns or designs before you start folding. All right, this is how to make a butterfly out of a piece of paper. So we're going to do both diagonal folds and then folds to make it into rectangles. So we'll start with the diagonal folds to make triangles, starting with the bottom point, leading up to the top point, crease across, and then open up. And there's our fold line. We're gonna turn it so that the fold line is going up and down. And now we're gonna do the same thing again from the bottom point to the top point, and we're gonna create another diagonal line across here. And so now when we open it up, we have four triangles. Okay. We make it square again, and then I'm gonna do a rectangular fold. So I'm gonna start with the bottom and fold it up to meet both corners and to meet up across the top here. And once it's all lined up, I bring this finger down to the middle and then push it out to crease these lines. So how many triangles do you think are in the inside now? Let's have a look. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six triangles. Okay. Now we're gonna turn it one turn to the right and we're gonna do another rectangular fold. So from the bottom, Match the corners, and then crease the bottom. And before I open it up again, try and visualize how many triangles we're gonna see when we open it up. Open it up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this next part of the butterfly is a little tricky. We've got our eight triangles. And right now you can see it's a bit of a valley fold when we open it up and we're gonna just go under and we're gonna pop it so now that it's a mountain fold. Can you see that? So that there's a peak up here at the top. And then we're gonna take two of our corners, just gonna kind of push this in. And we're pushing that in, I'll do that again. Take your corners and you push the triangles together. You can see how those triangles are coming together. And this just takes a little bit of practice. You just open it up and try it again if it doesn't work for you the first time. And then crease it, go over it with your fingers. This is where you could use something like a ruler and go over your creases. Okay, just smooth it all out. And now you're going to do, um, it's kind of like if you made the puppy dog, kind of puppy ear fold. So you're gonna flip this over so the vertex is at the bottom. And then you're gonna take the first part here and make your little triangular puppy dog ears. Crease that down and then do a symmetrical fold on the other side, holding that middle point there. Hold it with your fingers and then crease it. And you can start to see here are your four wings, two on this side and two on this side. We're gonna lift it up now and we're gonna take this bottom vertex and we're gonna fold it up behind. And we're gonna pull those wings a little bit. So I'm gonna turn it over to show you how I'm doing that. Turn this over and pull this corner up tug a little bit. So you don't want to just match it. You want to see how it's pulling on those bottom wings a little bit? Pull it so you have triangle hanging over the top. Again, hold it with your fingers and then take that triangle and fold it over. And that's what holds the butterfly together. And then I like to just fold it in half down that center line just to make it a bit stronger and reinforce my line of symmetry. And there you have your butterfly. And it, its wings are shaped like the butterfly is flying and flapping its wings or resting on a flower, okay? 
There's the butterfly.